The, the city of Houston is mourning after yeah. a beloved Houston police sergeant was shot and killed in the line of duty. Sergeant Harold Preston was on the force for 41 years. He was surrounded by his family and fellow officers when he took his last breath yesterday. A second officer, Courtney Waller, was also shot. Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers live at Memorial Hermann, where he is recovering this morning. Brittany. According to HPD, Officer Waller is in a great deal of pain and will still have to undergo another surgery. Officer Courtney Waller was shot in the arm after gunshots erupted at this apartment complex in Southwest Houston on Tuesday. In a tweet overnight, Chief Acevedo says the department visited Officer Waller and that he's in a great deal of pain, adding, quote, he had surgery today and will need additional surgery. In the same incident, HPD Sergeant Harold Preston was also shot but later died from his injuries. Sergeant Preston had 41 years of service, the chief calling him a wonderful, courageous and humble servant. According to police, the man accused of shooting the two officers is 51-year-old Elmer Manzano. HPD says the suspect's estranged wife was moving out and wanted to get some things from the apartment, but couldn't get inside. When her 14-year-old son unlocked the door, the chief says Manzano opened fire, shooting the boy and two officers. Channel 2 Investigates has now confirmed the suspected gunman is an illegal immigrant. According to HPD, Manzano's estranged wife reported a family disturbance twice over the weekend. In an incident report obtained by Channel 2, the wife reportedly feared for her life, telling investigators that Manzano was brandishing a gun and a fake badge. Now, an HPD officer did write a response to that call saying assistant district attorney declined the charges that the suspect left the scene and that no crime occurred. Now, as for as for the suspect yesterday during that incident, he was shot in the abdomen and taken to the hospital. Now, at this point, he has not been booked into the jail and no charges have been filed. Reporting live near Memorial Herman, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC Channel 2 News. All right.